we're just wrapping up the tour. Mike's just won his last battle in Glasgow. Stig took the L. Mike is eight and two. He's got two losses. Stig is six and four. They both had a battle pending. Like the decision. I mean, we was thinking. You know, I mean, we have to review the battles and see if the decision is going to be overturned. Stig versus Cosine in Birmingham. The battle went three rounds. It wasn't. It wasn't clear who the winner was, and it went into the thirty-second rounds. That's where the questions was in terms of who made the right decision. Stig took the first. 30 second round, three punches to one. The second one was close, Stig was edging. The third 30 second round was a draw. It wasn't straight murder, it wasn't a clear winner. Um, and it went to the five punch line rounds and Cosign took it on that and we've reviewed it and that's, that's the decision. Um, the battle's not gonna be overturned. Mike's battle is still to get reviewed, but even if he takes that L from um, the genius battle, He's still, he's still going to be ahead. And it's not easy to judge it when you're right there live. It's easy to watch back on a video and say, yeah, yeah, this guy won or that guy won. But you know what? Like when you're there and you've got all the other influences around you, it's hard, man. You got to stay focused. And you know what I mean? Like I'll hold my hand up if I've got a decision wrong and say, yeah, like I didn't make the right call and we got to overturn that. Like this is a sport right now. We've got to be fair. There's a lot of things riding on the back of this. So that's why I feel it was necessary to really like scrutinize the battles and make sure that the decisions have gone the right way. I'm gonna break the news now, man, so let's do this, man. You're both aware, obviously, of the situation. Like, we've come to the end of the tour now. We've done all of the cities, you know, we finished in Glasgow tonight with Mike's in a win, and Steve lost the battle. We watched it last night, and we just watched it again now. It wasn't straight murder in any direction, man. And I didn't feel like, you know, even watching it back, I didn't feel like I could say, yeah, yeah, Steve's won this battle. I feel like it was fair to go to the to the extra five punchlines. Um, and you know, it's gone that way. Consigns took it and the decision's not gonna be overturned. So like you're gonna stay at six. Max, in terms of your battle, you still gotta review the G Dash battle. Regardless of that, um, you're gonna go to New York, like you're gonna take it. It doesn't matter, it's irrelevant now anyway. So congratulations bro. Then I'm going, like, it's just like the way how the situation came about at the end of the tour, like, it just makes that like, like a bit sour, in it? Like, it's like it's not a thing where obviously it's a competition between me and Stig, but it wasn't that like, it made it more kind of, I don't know, just that little part there just made it mad, kind of just, just sour, man. Like, big up Stig, man. It's like, big up. I mean, elite team Safis in your mouth, please. Uh. And I'm happy for Mike's, man. I am genuinely really happy for Mike's, and I'm cool with the decision, man. I'm totally fine with the decision. Obviously, you know, I'm a bit deflated that I ain't going, but the decision's cool, man. The decision is cool with me. I knew the second that I stepped into Glasgow, you know, the, the challenge ahead of me, and certainly with respect for him, man, he's, he's a monster, and I've got so much time and respect for him. And the rest of the Jump Off TV is taking me on this tour, you know what I mean? It's been <clears throat> it's been a coming of age for a 25-year-old man, so I don't know man, now it's time for me to kinda of go home, reevaluate things, you know, work out what I'm gonna do, man. I'm definitely me and my crew live poets society, you need to watch out for them. LPS it spells trouble for the whole scene, so that's a plan, man. I just need to get the crew together working, work on my solo shit. Respect to everybody who's watched it. You know, I hope you enjoy watching back the footage as I will do, because I always enjoy watching myself. And uh, yeah, man, ever stay the Joker. Live Poet Society, Geordie representing. You need to look out for the whole of the Northeast. www.jumpoff.tv. Now get lost. Check, that's man. That's cats going to New York to battle on their street battles. New York ain't gonna know what's happening, they're gonna rattle. Oh. That's the way my man and mate assassin's getting down. He's representing for London town. I represent me a Glasgow sound. We step up here and we get down. Cause you see it's all pride and it's all respect. Then it for the jump off props we collect. Every single time we get down with the introspect. Cause that freestyle shit represents in every dialect. It don't matter where you're from and you're representing your slum. That's the way we get down, man. We leave you fucking stuck like gum on the ground. You've been found in the burial set. That's the way we are doing this shit. Don't ever forget. Represent for the jump off getting down. Freestyle master. Check my sound. I'm glad to rep the UK, man. Yeah, you, man, sitting inside your sitting inside your bedrooms, your front rooms, or watching this on your DVD in your car, bruv. I did this. I'm repping for you, man. You get me? To rep the UK in New York, bruv. Do you know what that means, like? That means that elite team is going global, you get me, like? Rep the logo, man. You get me? 
it's Mike Assassin, that one in the air, like that don't count no more, you get me? Like, stop saying that phrase, nah. That one in the air, it's like, it's still Mike Assassin. We're up in Glasgow, yeah, but it's still London, South East in your mouthpiece. Ah! Oh.